I am awake now, still shaking from my dream. I was coming home through a howling dust storm. My lowered face was scrubbed raw by dirt and wind. Dust scratched my eyes. It crunched between my teeth. Sand chafed inside my clothes against my skin. Dust crept inside my ears, up my nose, down my throat. I shuddered, nasty with dust. In the house, just blew through the cracks in the walls. It covered the floorboards and heaped against the doors. It floated in the air, everywhere. I didn't care about anyone, anything, only the piano. I, I searched for it. I found it under a mound of dust. I was angry at Ma for letting in the dust. I cleaned off the keys, but when I played, a tortured sound came from the piano. Like someone streaking, I hit the keys with my fist, and the piano broke into a hundred pieces. Daddy called to me. He asked me to bring Wilder. Ma was thirsty. I brought in a pail of fire, and Ma drank it. She had given birth to a baby of flames. The baby burned at her side. I ran away to the Eaton's farm. The house had been tracked out, tipped off its foundation. No one could live here. Everywhere I looked were dunes of rippled dust. The wind roared like fire. The door to the house hung open and there was dust inside, several feet deep. And there was a piano. The bench was gone, right through the floor. The piano leaned toward me. I stood and played. The relief to hear the sound of music after the sound of the piano at home. I dragged the Eaton's piano through the dust to our house. But when I got there, I couldn't play. I had swollen lumps for hands. They dripped a sickly pus. They swung stupidly from my wrists. They stung with pain. When I woke up, the part about my hands was real.